We uh, weren't robbed last night. Uh, <laughs> we're just cleaning. We're just cleaning. <laughs> Yay! Cleaning! Welcome back to our channel. Everyone. Welcome back. Okay, I'm actually really excited. I'm really excited. Look at this. Guys, he just thinks he's. Look at this. Yeah. He just wants me to hold you. I mean, how can you clean over that face? You guys, our couch was in desperate need of cleaning. Yeah, someone got a little excited too oh, last night, yeah. didn't you? <laughs> we may have had a little accident as well. And like, if people ever have wet clothes on and they get down on it, it like makes a little stain. Like a little imprint. Luckily though, That's guys, only from the ocean, only from the ocean. Yeah, yeah, luckily though, this couch is kind of awesome. All the cushions unzip and yeah. you can wash them. Every single one of them. So you can kind of see they're out drying right I now, know. just we a little bit everywhere. randomly around, but I took a before of the cushions and so <laughs> I can't wait to see the after because I think nice. it does a really good job. Also, a lot of you guys asked us about our couch and where we got it from. We have dozens and dozens of people that asked us. Yes. We got it on Amazon. If you I know have, it's crazy, but that's where we got it. If you have a small <laughs> space though, you guys, I mean, we have had this for a little over two years and it's yeah. been a good couch. Oh, it's been a fantastic I couch, yeah. I mean, we were really expecting to stay here like a year. Yeah. And but it fits really nicely. Yep. And I love I was really nervous to wash the cushions for the first time, but mm -hmm. it came out great. Like it yeah. changed the color. It's it looked like a brand new back. couch after we washed it. I think that's one of the things that we liked about this couch. Well one, it's cheap and expensive, looks yeah. cute. But two, it you can wash the covers. I'm just laughing during saying it looks cute. Yeah. Shut up. It does, <laughs> this it looks does cute. Look cute. That's what I meant. It, it's like we're pretty <laughs> soft. Yeah. Anyways, we have that going on. Also, I did add in to the washer, a little bit of that Diva wash that smells like mm. really fragrant. And so our entire apartment right now smells a little bit like that because these are drying, but it also smells like <laughs> roast. So, roast. In our video yesterday, I said I was making the Coffee Cat Cafe Rio today. We mm -hmm. have people coming over for dinner tonight. And I have been up early. She has. Making this. She Super early. It's a good day. It's Friday, but I was like up at the yeah. grocery store, eight o'clock. <laughs> sweet pork from Cafe Rio. It's our favorite Mexican restaurant out in Utah. They don't have it here. If you know, you know. Best type of meat I found for this and researched is pork shoulder pork butt. If you ask your butcher, they can sometimes give it to you without the bone in, mm. and that's the best way. So I asked for that. This is like five, six pounds of pork shoulder, and it has been slow cooking in here <laughs> for the last almost eight hours. It does smell good. It's like a mix between like fragrance and that. I know, so it's kind of a weird smell in here right now, honestly. But I you want did, some lavender roast. To prepare it though, I did sear it on both sides and then I took a little spice mixture that I made as well, sprinkled some of it over that before I seared it, then popped it into the slow cooker. I will post the recipe down below with all the exact measurements. So stick with me here. But then I poured <laughs> some Coke, regular Coke, that's another secret, not Diet Coke. Regular Coke and a little bit of water. And this baby has just been cooking away. You can see, oh, it smells so good when you lift up the lid. So I'm making that, and then I'll make a sauce to go with that here in a second. I'm making the dressing right now. You guys, this dressing is tomatillo, like a tomatillo ranch dressing. So for any of you that don't know, these are tomatillos. They come in the grocery store. They look a little strange. They come like this, and then you just peel off the wrapper. So they kind of look like mini green tomatoes. So. Anyways, I will post the recipe for the dressing. This is my favorite part, babe. Right? Yeah. Would you say actually the meat's my favorite, and then this second. Yeah. This would be good on any kind of salad, though. And then I'm gonna make some rice, some beans, and then I did she. I bought some pico and guac. I'm not making that homemade today. And then we just have some chips and tortilla. So it's gonna be really good. Mm -hmm. It's 
smelling good in here. Do you feel like you're in Cafe Rio yeah, right now? Yeah, I really do. She let me have a taste of the uh, tomatillo sauce, and it's amazing. Guys, I, so I made the dressing. It's in the fridge yeah. for a few hours. Now I'm getting the beans ready. This is a new copycat bean recipe, but I have black beans right here. And then I sauteed up some garlic, a little tomato juice, and some cumin. So super simple sauce. And supposedly you just pour it over the beans. And then I'm gonna add in some cilantro to this as well. And I think these beans should be delicious. Mm, they do smell nice. And things now, love them. Let me just swap <laughs> this out. And then these are gonna cook down for a little bit and then I'll finish it with some cilantro. Now I'm gonna make the sauce that as soon as this is about ready, I'm gonna shred it. And then I'm gonna make the sauce here and then add the sauce and meat back into the slow cooker for like the last hour just for it to like sit and marinate and get all juicy and delicious. So you can actually make this ahead of time. It's actually better if you do because it the sauce gets to soak up in all the meat. I didn't have a chance to make it last night. We were super busy. It's all coming together, but the sauce is super easy. You just do a can of enchilada sauce, some brown sugar, green chilies, and some Coke. My secret is I always add in more brown sugar than it calls for. Mm -hmm. I use, and I like using a mixture of light brown sugar and dark brown sugar. You can obviously use whatever you have, but I honestly sometimes like double the brown sugar. Just mm. It feels like it, it makes it better. It's like more sweet. It's the sweet pork. So anyways, that's a little tip. And I'll be bluntly honest. I had no idea there was a difference between light and dark brown sugar. Yeah, there is. It's Just right like here. chocolate. Hey, look. <laughs> Let me show you. So do you see the color difference? This one is the dark brown sugar. Which one tastes better? Which one's sweeter? This one has just more of like a molasses, like dark. When you think of brown sugar, I feel like this tastes more like the brown mm. sugar. Like I use dark brown sugar, usually more of my cinnamon rolls than light mm. brown sugar. Sometimes I don't have it, so I'll just use light brown, but I prefer nice. dark brown. Any of you real cooks out there, <laughs> what is the biggest difference between yeah. these two? I just took the pork out and oh my goodness, it is falling apart. That is exactly what you want. So I'm gonna let this rest for a second, cool off, and then shred it with some fork. And then I'm gonna empty most of this juice it cooked in, because it's really just some of the spice mix and water. It's pretty watery, so I'll empty most of that, keep a little bit of it in. And then I have this sweet pork sauce. Oh my gosh, you guys, I added quite a bit of brown sugar. I tasted it and it was pretty spicy and I really realized that I got medium enchilada sauce and not mild. So I added even more brown sugar in it just to make it super, super sweet. But I think it's gonna be really good. It's gonna have a little bit of a kick, but then you get the sweet note from the brown sugar and the green chilies. I got my black beans. So the only thing left really to do is I gotta make the cilantro rice. I am cheating on that and I'm just using some microwave rice from Trader Joe's and I'm gonna add cilantro, a little onion, a little bit of chicken stock, and a little bit of lime juice on that. You guys, did we just buy a new couch? Oh my <gasps> Look at this, I seriously cannot believe the difference. It's massive, yeah, look at that. Like, this looks honestly brand new. Do you guys remember? I will have to put the fore and after in here. There's massive stain here, here, and these are not reversible, yeah. as you can tell. So we didn't just flip them or anything. Like, they <laughs> literally came out perfect. Look at that. I'm you, if you want a couch, that's a good couch. It's like cheap. brand Amazon, I'll link it. new. Yeah, and it's pretty durable. I mean, I know it's like white, so it definitely gets dirty easier. But look at that. check that out, you guys. I like brand spanking. You can see it still matches. I'll even get super close for you. It still matches the base. So this wasn't washed, but this was all washed. You got rid of that huge stain right here. There are some little threads everywhere. Babe. That's amazing. Isn't that amazing? That is seriously so nice. Man, it's obviously, yeah, read your instructions on your couch, but for this couch at least, it's worked for us. I do wash it on cold, so that way it like doesn't shrink as much as possible. It is a little tricky putting the cushions back on. Yeah, you need two people to do it really quickly. Otherwise. Yeah, Jer was over here while I was finishing up yeah. dinner, but I came over and helped with this one. This one's the trickiest one because of this angle right here, but. 
Oh my gosh, they look brand new. Nice, I'm so excited. No accident, buddy. And you no need to be good and keep it clean. We need you to give you a bath. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that feels amazing. It's like we got a brand new couch. I know. Like Look at that. It's that like good. It's awesome. I do need to rearrange the pillows. Oh, sorry. Wrong here. side. Okay. All right. But guys, yeah, like Brittany said, there's massive stains on these, and like, ah, it looks so much better. Yes. Amazon for the win. You guys, brand new couch, and it <laughs> smells so good. Yeah, That's it does smell amazing. Wash. I've talked about it before on our video, but. It's like, it's called Diva Wash. We just get it off Amazon. I'll turn to the link for it below. I just buy the small bottle because it's kind of pricey, but literally I put in maybe a cap full. It's lasted us over a year. Yeah, sure. it's been and amazing. I still have probably half of it left. Yeah, it's huge. But I just put a little bit and you can just smell it. It just smells like, how do you even describe the smell, babe? Um, hotel. Like a hotel. Like a ritzy hotel. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> perfumey, you could yeah. say a little bit. It's really Look, nice. He's, back. he's like back in my spot. Yeah. <laughs> All right, buddy, you're off to the bath. It is officially the next day. We didn't have a chance to close out the video yesterday just because we had friends over, we were eating dinner, and time just got away from us. But we wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone who commented on our last video about our car. Seriously, you guys are like amazing just because we have no idea what's going on with it. But luckily, we got an appointment scheduled for Wednesday. We were hoping to get it yesterday, but the soonest they had available was Wednesday. So hopefully, like crazy that the car can hold out at least that much longer. Also, I see a lot of guesses coming in about the guests that we have coming, and a few of you guys are actually right. They actually get here early, early Monday morning, so expect to see that video out on Tuesday. But between now and then, we have so much to do. So until next time, we love you, and we'll see you later. Bye, guys.